Okay. So what do you got? Specifically, say if I was trying to memorize the fretboard, or say if I was trying to memorize um, inversions and where they are on the neck. I mean, I've no problem memorizing a, a shape, but you know, it's trying to. It it takes me. It seems to take me forever to say, you know, let's say minor there, the minor there, the minor there, the minor there, um, and I'm just wondering, is there something going on in my head that's kind of stopping me from sort of soaking that in a bit quicker? Well, you have, are you, okay, well, do you want to talk about something specific like the individual shapes, or just overall kinds of memorizing? As in where they are, if, if I'm, um, if I want to on the fly be able to, um, so if there's a, a chord progression that I may be playing in sort of folk open chords down here, mm -hmm. and I want to on the, on the fly be able to um, play them in different inversions, but a lot of the time I can't think on my feet fast enough, and it has to be kind of pre-rehearsed. Okay, and, um, let's take a chord progression uh, of your choosing. Take four, let's say, let's take two chords to start. Okay. Okay, what do you got, A minor, D minor, is that what you just play? D minor. Okay. So play A minor and D minor in that position. Uh, just, just, yeah, that's going to take too long. Just done. Then bring it up, next position. Next position. Next position. Okay, now let's add more chords. Pick another chord to add. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay, so do that in all positions. Uh, D minor, sorry. Okay, so I noticed that you, you hesitated more to get started with the new shape, even mm -hmm. though you're starting with the same chord you did earlier. You, when it was only A minor by itself, yeah. you had no problem. Mm -hmm. With A minor and D minor, you didn't have a real problem. Mm -hmm. But as soon as we had E minor, which only occurs at the end, mm -hmm. it was a problem. Mm -hmm. That's peculiar. Because after you play the E minor, you move up to the next A minor, which is something that you're generally familiar with. with. Yeah. There's a hesitation. It, it, in my head, I actually forgot what the chord progression was. That's what I forget. I mean, even when I'm playing live, I tend to have mental blocks a lot of the time, just completely blank on what it is I'm supposed to play. So even though I'm very familiar with those particular three chords mm -hmm. uh, on, on the neck, I actually would forget, well, which is forced, is it A minor or D minor, or e, e, you know? And I, I find that sometimes I'm doing sort of things like, uh, is it, um, <coughs> I don't know what you call it, is it mnemonics? You know, you try to make a, a word out of, um, you know, so like, was okay. it A, D, E, I, B, you know, all dogs. Okay, let's, let's do this. Okay, so you're figuring the progression, all right? So it's not finding the shapes, it's remembering what comes next. A lot of the time, yeah. All right, let's do this. I'll call out the chords, mm -hmm. and you play, the, you play the inversion exactly in time. Okay. okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call out the chords, and then, you know, once and then you start, okay? So it's A minor, D minor, not yet, oh, sorry. E minor. Ready? A minor, D minor, E minor, A minor, D minor, E minor, A minor, D minor, E minor, A minor, D minor, E minor. Okay? Let's try it again. A minor, D minor, E minor, A minor, A minor. Let's try it again. A minor. E minor, D e minor, A e minor, D e minor, E minor, A e minor, D e minor, A e minor, D e minor, E minor. Okay, e e yeah, let's add another chord. Let's add G. Okay, G major. Uh, yeah, okay. That was an E flat major. I know, yeah. Let's do that. Okay, here we go. So G, G would be at the end. Okay. A e minor, D e minor, E minor, G. You ready? Mm -hmm. A minor, D e minor, E minor. G, A minor, D minor, G. Oh. Sorry. That inversion would have been better used. Let's try it again. Use this inversion with the open position instead of the open G chord. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, ready? A minor, D minor, E minor.
think um, you need to put, just put a little pressure on yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, if you turn the metronome on to 60 and do one inversion a second. <coughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Without that pressure, there's there's no reason for you to hurry up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, if you're just kind of doing it on your own, then you can just take all the time that you need. But you know, obviously, in a real musical context, you don't have that luxury. Yeah. You you have to do it in time. 